So here we are at the station. Looks nice, doesn't it? Besides this and this. Ah, uh, we got these kind of things as well. And that one. So since we have these carnival festivities coming up, they have a night timetable. So I wanted to show you this booklet because of the impression of a Swiss partying you can get. Especially the people living in the countryside. They would look like this when they are partying at night, drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so I marked all the pages already. So at daytime, here it says it's a sunset carnival. That's what it says right here. So then it looks like this. So the people standing on the side of the street would watch people, crazies, driving by with their vehicles that they dressed up for this occasion. Mostly it's got something to do with happenings that have happened the past year. Like here something, kind of a tower or so, must have fallen. And then there is also not just when the sun sets, but also at night, like really at night. Here. I have never ever heard about that from other places. Like in Basel, it's in the morning, like at four o'clock ish. They close all, shut down all the lights in the city streets and then everyone goes out with their little group, troupe, playing their songs for the carnival. But here they are even at night. So then that's what it would look like at one of those bars, outdoor bars. You would have people standing around with their girlfriends and whatever. So that's Switzerland in the countryside. <laughs> It really is. It's so boring. I would never ever want to join. And this one also is something, here it is at daytime, that they have that parade going on. And it's a festivity really for the kids actually. But since the ladies, before there was street parade, were so very much undressing in the bars, it then also got to be a adult festivity so the adults would dress up go into a bar and then once they could see bare breasts because it said topless serving something like this <laughs> but actually it was a children's festivity the children would dress up go to school and then they would have a parade go home and be happy so here you can have a glimpse of what it would look like like these kind of vehicles would be built throughout the year and then they show it off at that very one occasion. <laughs> it's that one that we have seen already, probably. The topic here is familiar. And also like this, it might look like... They go out like this, maybe. Yeah, and then of course bands are playing and yeah. We got three more minutes, so let's do this focusing exercise. So there you see that the children are very much into it. They go and want to be a princess for a day or a clown or another princess so yeah usually the people were doing the makeup at home but here they even have a, a hairdresser that offers this for the kids so they have like kids parades at several places and you see from this booklet how colorful it is that it really is a, f a happy 
festivity besides the drinking. The drinking really is, I don't drink alcohol, but adults in Switzerland, when they go out, they don't smoke, they drink. So that's why they have a lot of jokes written right there that have got to do with smoke. Uh, see, I'm a smoker with drinking, of course. And yeah, a lot of ads in here as well. So the booklet needs somehow to be paid. So that's why there is so many ads. But otherwise, it's just all these parades and the drinking in the bars that gets advertised in here. So from me, waiting at the station, it's goodbye.